You too. Joining me now to react, Wall Street Journal columnist, Fox News contributor, Bill McGurn. Bill, uh, I hope you write about this next week. I'm not pressing <laughs> you to tell us what you'll be writing about in your column, but your colleague Kim Strassel has one column in today's uh, Wall Street Journal, the special counsels in Merrick Garland's election department. And she notes that it's just the, you've got Biden and Trump, two special counsels, two presidential candidates in 2024. And she mentions Bill Barr, the former attorney general who tried or his aspiration, her word, her, his aspiration was to depoliticize the Justice Department. But Garland learned nothing from 2016. This is just an utter nightmare of Garland's creating, creation. Absolutely, Dagan. Look, on the political level, he had no choice but to appoint a special counsel because to the public, they see two presidents or ex-presidents um, mishandling uh, classified information. It would be really hard to explain politically why there shouldn't be one for Joe Biden. But that said, if there hadn't been the raid on Mar-a-Lago and the appointment of a special counselor, this wouldn't really be a big story. It's all political. And I have to say, I loathe the idea of a special counsel. I think it's extra constitutional. I think we have too many things like that in um, inspectors general and um, FISA courts. And I think what they do is uh, they delay things for a long time and they actually prevent accountability. So I wish there hadn't been one. I wish there hadn't been one for Donald Trump too. Um, and I look at uh, Mr. Durham um, and how long it's taking. I, it's just incredible. Even the regular investigations are taking forever. Why can't the Justice Department decide whether uh, Hunter Biden is guilty of anything or not? Uh, two years, more than two years uh, for an investigation, it seems ridiculous and just inflames everything and solves nothing. And there were options other than an FBI raid on Mar-a-Lago, as, <laughs> as have been written over and over and over again. But in terms of, what did you say, extra constitutional? In terms of, um, of just like anti-constitutional. So Matt Taibbi released another round of Twitter files. <laughs> I think it was this morning in this batch. And I just wanted to ask you this because it's hilarious. Democrat Adam Schiff and his staff would constantly push and press Twitter uh, to remove material posts that were unflattering to Joe Biden. So here is here is one of them. It was a and this was also it, it's a parody photo of Joe Biden that was was manipulated with Joe Biden's tongue hanging out. The DNC made the same request. And the trust and safety chief, Yoel Raw, said it's obvious she had humorous intent and any reasonable observer, apparently not a shift staffer, could see that it was doctored. And they kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And there were a number of instances where they tried to get Twitter to completely suppress any and all search results about Pete, like Schiff and anybody on his staff. But they were trying to get Twitter to take down that photo because it was unflattering. I kind of It's think amazing what gov government staffers will do when they think no one's watching. Uh, one thing we should have learned from this the, the thing that the government people really object to when they get into the business of censorship is not um, a national security secret being exposed or something like that or an unfair charge against someone. It's humor. They, they always pick the people with the least sense of humor to um, censor things and police Twitter for a, a bad joke or something. Um, I would say it's unbelievable, but actually it's very believable. <laughs> so, Bill, I wish that you could have met my mother. My <laughs> mother always said 
that people who work on Capitol Hill and people who work at CNN, they always look like they're smelling something. <laughs> because, and they have no sense of humor. They always walk around like, and that kind of sums up who my mother was. Yeah, fine, the fine lack humor. of sense of humor yeah, exactly. is uh, acute here. And, and um, it's, we're gonna see more of it. And my dad always says, never trust somebody who can't laugh at themselves. So Bill, that's McGurn, true. Thank you so much. Can't wait to read your column next week.